so I'm wondering What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true just as surprised as you Is this really happening? I can't be too sure But one day I'll be yours Well, it took us four days But we did the Nullarbor, done it That's the uh, another bucket list item sorted um, Saw some amazing bits and pieces You know, the Bunda Cliffs and some great free camps coming into Eucala was bloody brilliant and Madura was breathtaking coming off that ridge so just been an epic trip really enjoyed it um, but right now it's about seven o'clock in the morning I'm standing on the uh, on the jetty in uh, in Sejuna right at the end of it there's some crazy people just over my shoulder there having a swim <laughs> no thanks too bloody cold for this little black duck but um, no, it's, it's absolutely it's a really nice place Sejuna it's uh, um, we're staying at the Foreshore Caravan Park and yeah, you can throw a rock at the water from there. It's, uh, it's really nice. It's, it's a really nice setup. The, uh, the Caravan Park super clean and uh, nice people in there as well running it. Uh, yeah, can't argue, but yeah, still getting used to this South Australian coastline. They're just, there's land and water everywhere. It's, it's phenomenal. So yeah, really looking forward to exploring the rest of the air and um, spending a few days in each place. And yeah, we'll see how it all pans out. But uh, so far, so good. Very happy to have done the Nullarbor. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get on with it. Cheers. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other 11 give something from nothing. I sit here looking for an answer. Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter. You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed Yeah Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you error so um, we, we were in Penong last or the other night and we shot straight through to Sejuna and we've since found out that we should have uh, come down here to Cactus Beach so we we'll bugger it we've parked up at the uh, caravan park come back check it out so we've uh, come across uh, I think Lake McDermott it's called uh, those pink lakes absolutely magic got some nice drone footage there and um, we've then followed our nose down to the beach and you can see behind me the jetty at Port, uh, Port La Hunt. Uh, really, really neat little place here. It's right off the limestone cliffs. And um, yeah, they cut the, cut the roadway in here. I was just reading that was done by the local farmers so that they could get all their grain and, and uh, imports and exports for the region out of there. Uh, so it's amazing what humans will do. And um, so yeah, we're just checking this joint out. Went for a walk on the jetty. She's windy as out there, so, uh, and cold. But uh, yeah, really nice place down here. Well worth a drive. Picturesque, very picturesque. So we'll, we'll keep moseying and uh, see what else this part of the world has to offer. So high up 
what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Good morning everyone. It's um, Sunday morning and we are leaving Sejuna and we are today the plan aside from getting over a bit of a hangover because we caught up the neighbours last night they were really good fun. Um, the plan today is we're going to head down towards Smoky Bay uh, past Paluby and then out towards Streaky and we're going to be staying a couple of nights in Streaky. Um, we couldn't get into Paluby which is obviously what we'd love to have done but yeah, it's, we've got to book about a month ahead to uh to even get in there so that's life we'll uh, but we'll go and check it out but yeah today leaving sejuna only about 100 k's to do but yeah sejuna's been very very nice we uh, we had a great uh, game of bowls yesterday we uh, we rolled up to the club and within about three seconds of getting there we were putting the team for the uh, for a competition yesterday afternoon so we uh, had a roll and uh, came fifth i was pretty happy with that um but yeah it's been a beautiful stay here in sejuna and uh, yeah nice place the, the water is an absolute glass off behind me as you can see um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna now make, make some tracks, and we'll uh, yeah see you when we get to uh, to Streaky. See ya. you can't control the weather and they're absolutely right it's blowing a gale and it has been now for the last couple of days we left Sejuna and it was a glass off as you, you would have seen in the in the footage and then we shot down the road we went to Smoky checked that out had a, had a great walk around there then we um, came down to Streaky as soon as we got to Streaky and in the area it was just blowing its guts out um, so we thought we'd take the opportunity and we shot back up to Paluby and uh, had some oysters on the beach there that we had freshly shucked from, uh, from Smoky Bay. And then when we came back, we cruised off and did the, uh, the Kate Bower loop drive, which is magnificent and absolutely brilliant footage. And then the following day, we've gone out and we've uh, done the Westall Way loop drive, which takes you past some, uh, again, some amazing coastal scenery and then all the way down to Skeel Bay, which is a nice new development. It's only been a town since 2009. And then down to Sea Lion, uh, the Sea Lion Colony down at Point La uh, Labatt. And that was, uh, that was brilliant. On the way back, we went past Murphy's Haystacks. Check those out, some really wicked rock formations. And then we uh, obviously back in the streak. He cleaned the car and come back to, uh, to hide out in the, uh, in the caravan for the afternoon because it's blowing his guts out. Anyway. 
I'll put some footage in of all that and uh, show you uh, show you how it all went. So, so it's only got a bit of music, but uh, yeah, couldn't say a word out there. It was just too windy. Cheers. Oh, well, we made it. Paluby Beach, the famous Paluby Beach. Unfortunately, a little bit too famous for us. We uh, couldn't get a booking here. It's booked out for months in advance, but we still can come down here and check it out. We're going to go and eat some oysters on the on the beach down here and dip our toes in the water and see how it is. But uh, yeah, the wind's really starting to kick up, so it's not too pleasant at the moment. But uh, yeah, wow, really nice beach. It would have been would have been really nice to stay here, but now that the wind's blowing, I'm kind of glad we're not.
Well, that's uh, that's Streaky Bay done and dusted. We've uh, had a great couple of days there. We saw some amazing sights. Did a lot of travelling around because it was windy, but we got around and saw some awesome stuff still. At the moment, we're heading east and um, we're heading out to the Gawler Ranges. Um, so that'll be our next episode. But our trip in Streaky Bay would not have been really any good at all. We would have been stuck in a caravan if we hadn't have gone to the visitor centre. Yeah, so I can't recommend going to the visitor centre you know it's a must do you know we came here with no plan we were just gonna you know go on a whim and see what what our adventure brought us but we really had no idea what was in the area to see you know what were important points to visit we went and visited the visitors the people at the visitor center they were absolutely amazing they gave us all the maps of the local area um, and great ideas and they narrow it down to the time frame that you're there they say you know these are the must sees these are the next sees and then you know depending on how long you're there for they'll give you a guide on what you should and shouldn't see and, and the time frame it takes so my one thing is if you're going ahead thinking that you don't need to plan anything it's not as simple and straightforward as that so a visitor center is definitely a must do wherever you go yeah no more rookie errors for us but hey look thank you so much for uh, watching through to the end of the episode really do appreciate you guys watching it it, it certainly uh has made you know warmed our hearts so uh, thank you very much and we'll see you next week in, in the gawler ranges see ya bye